Hi everyone, what is up? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you couldn't tell, I look incredibly pale right now and that is because I haven't done any blush or bronzer on my face yet because today we are actually doing an exciting video where we are going to be trying the new Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette that launched for the holiday season. Hourglass released three different versions and four different covers that you could customize or just pick one of their like pre-made designs and I decided to pick one up in the owl packaging with the jellyfish insert which I think is going to be most suitable for my light skin tone. So if you have a similar skin tone to me and you're curious to see whether this palette will actually work for you or maybe you're just curious about the palette in general if it's worth if it's going to be worth your money then this video is for you. We are going to be trying out the palette today and I'm going to share my thoughts on whether I think this product is worth it. If you're new here, then hi, welcome to my channel. I'm so glad you found it. I upload beauty videos every single week and I would love it if you subscribed. But for now, if you wanna see the review on the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Owl Jellyfish Palette, then please keep watching. So like I said, Hourglass released three different color stories of these palettes for the holiday season of 2023. I pick these up usually every single year. I have been doing that for the past three years so I thought this year I would pick up one as well. I actually decluttered the one from last year because I did get the elephant palette and even though I liked it at the beginning the more I was using it I just felt like it wasn't exactly right for my skin tone so I found myself reaching for other products in my collection more and these palettes are expensive so I thought it was not worth my money. This year's version retails for 96 euros and I think it retails for 90 dollars. So I paid 96 euros and it does come with free shipping, which is good if you're paying that much. But I know it is a lot of money for a palette and I don't know. Hourglass is a super luxurious brand and they are really famous for their powder products. I'm actually also wearing their foundation today, but they have really expensive finishing powders that so many people love. I used to love mine as well. I used to always have the shade Dim Light, which I actually found out was a bit too deep for my skin tone when I was trying it in that elephant palette. So I decided to go, of course, with the lightest variation out of the three, which is the Jellyfish palette. And this one actually has two really light finishing powders in there which I hope are going to work for my skin tone. It also comes with two different blushes, a bronzer and a highlighter. So even though it is 96 euros, if you break it down to how much hourglass powders usually are, I usually find that these holiday palettes are the best deal you can get if you're planning to buy these hourglass powders. I mean of course if it wasn't for the palettes I wouldn't have bought six of the shades but I know I love these palettes and I know you guys always want to see like my thoughts and everything on these so that's why I picked it up so let's take a look at the inside. This is what the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette in the Owl Edition looks like. The reason I went with the Owl Edition is not because I necessarily like owls but I thought it was just like the overall prettiest and like the most aesthetically pleasing so I thought this one would be like super pretty on my Instagram feed. If you didn't know I do a lot of like flat lays on my Instagram and I have this like pink feed so I thought this one would go with it the best like I'm not gonna lie it's like the main reason why I picked it up. So here we have the actual design of the palette. If you couldn't tell, it's really, really reflective. So I'm trying my best to show you guys. And then on the back, we just have an overview of all the shades. So this is what the inside of the palette looks like. So firstly, we have the finishing powder in diffuse light. Then we have the bronzer right here. This one is called Lunar Bronze, and this is actually a new shade. We then have the blush in Rose Fusion right here, which is also a new shade. This blush at the bottom is Diffuse Heat, which is an already existing shade. We have Opal Strobe Light, the high Lighter, which is a new shade as well and lastly we have the finishing powder in ethereal light and I'm so excited to be trying this one out because I think this is going to work perfectly for my skin tone now from all the three palettes that they released this one has three new shades which is the most out of the entire line I think the snake palette they have only had one new shade to me it's pretty exciting that they have three new shades now I don't own any of these in my collection at the moment I used to own diffused heat until I dropped it on the floor and it broke so that was really sad and I also used to own diffused light it was in the elephant palette that I decluttered because it was a bit too deep so I think I want to apply these to the face right now and I'm going to show you what they look like so it also comes with this little 
little booklet on the inside and it actually says warning avoid contact with eyes so i don't actually think these powders are suitable for the eye area so keep that in mind but i am just going to take this brush for now it's a little bit more dense and i'm going to take the shade ethereal light which is the setting powder right here now i don't think we're really going to notice anything major on my skin because it is just a finishing powder i just said setting powder but that reminds me of the fact that these are actually not setting powders they're finishing powder so they really are supposed to give that like more blurry effect to the under eyes rather than actually setting your makeup but I have found in the past that I do set my makeup with this sometimes and it works fine but I am just going to apply this to the bottom eye area I didn't already apply mascara today which wasn't that smart and as I was expecting, I'm not noticing any color on my under eyes, which is exactly what I was hoping for, but it definitely did blur a little bit and I do think it looks pretty. So let's try the other side. And I'm holding my brush a little bit more towards the top because I wanna like press this in a little bit more so that my concealer will stay in place. I am also just going to apply this to my nose to blur it a little bit as well. It definitely did blur a little bit and I'm really happy with the shade because it doesn't give me like extra pigment under my eyes. So now I wanna apply the bronzer and I'm actually really excited to be trying this because it looks like a really good shade. I am just going to take this little bit more angled brush which brings me to like the only downside I have for this palette so far and that is that always these hourglass palettes, the pans are quite close together. So if you have a more fluffy brush like this, this, you're going to have a harder time to actually just pick up the bronzer and that is what it's looking like it's definitely looking a little bit more warm on the brush that is really pigmented I definitely took a little bit too much so I'm going to take this clean brush to blend it out a little bit more So this is what the bronzer is looking like on my skin. It definitely warmed up my face a little bit. At first I took too much product and it went on a little bit patchy because of that really fluffy brush. But once I blended it out with this like clean, little bit less fluffy brush, it definitely blended it out nicely. But what you can do with these powders as well is actually take the finishing powder and apply it like over the edges of the bronzer to like blend everything together. So I'm going to take the shade Diffuse Light for that. I'm just going to be taking this on this brush and I'm going to like run it along the edges of this bronzer and kind of like over it a little bit as well to really give it that like blurred effect, which is what the Hourglass products are like really famous for. When I was swatching this palette, I found that the blushes kind of similar. So I really wanna see if they're going to be similar on the cheeks as well. And I'm going to be starting off with Rose Fusion, which is the top one. And I'm just putting a little bit on my brush like that and I'm placing that on the apples off my cheek and kind of like blending it upwards and that is a really pretty shade again with the same brush I'm going to do the same thing that I did with the diffuse light powder and kind of like run it over the edges of where I just placed that blush and now I'm going to take the shade diffused heat which is a little bit more of a vibrant pink shade so I'm excited to see what that is going to look like like I said, I did used to own this in the past, but it's definitely been a while since I've tried this one. I remember liking it though. So this is what the Fused Heat is looking like, and I can definitely tell a difference on my skin. When I did swatch it, like I said, I thought they were a little bit similar, but now that I have these on my face, I definitely feel like the Fused Heat is a bit more of like a corally pink, like kind of more of a pop shade, and this one is a bit warmer. This sort of like blends in with your bronzer just a little bit better, so they really are different on the face but they're still like they're not totally different I don't think if I go out in public like this people are going to notice that I have two different shades of blushes on my skin but when I look up closely in the mirror I can definitely tell a difference but I think both of these went on nicely these will definitely last super long because they're really really pigmented and I think these are really pretty blushes and then it's time to try the last shade of this collection which is the strobe light powder in opal strobe light I'm really excited to try this 
is I was trying to find my highlighting brush but I have a lot of dirty brushes that I need to wash so for now I'm just going to use the same brush that we used for the setting powders I use this for highlighter sometimes and it actually works nice so I'm just going to slightly tap my brush in there because I have no idea what this is going to look like dab off some excess and then just apply this to like the upper parts of my cheeks and I'm already excited about seeing this because last year's highlighter definitely was too deep for my skin tone when the light was showing on my cheeks. It definitely did look pretty, but when I looked up close, you definitely could see some sort of cast from the highlighter. When I look like this, you don't really notice it super much, but then when I turn, you just get this beautiful glow that I think is really, really pretty. And it definitely isn't like too intense or too subtle. This is what it's looking like. It's definitely a bit more of that like white toned highlighter, so keep that in mind mind it is really pretty and it looks amazing on the cheeks so i do really like this so that brings us to the end of the review video of the hourglass ambient lighting edit palette in the jellyfish and owl edition i hope you guys enjoyed watching for my final thoughts i definitely can say that i'm happy with this purchase and i think it's going to be worth my money based on how much i enjoy makeup and enjoy products like this i know it's going to be a staple in my collection because all of the shades work so much better for my skin tone than they did last year and I think even the year before so for me this one is definitely getting a thumbs up now I will say if you're not a luxury makeup lover and not an hourglass lover in general and you just want to see if this palette is going to be worth your money it definitely is a pretty palette but I don't think it's going to be worth it if you're not really into makeup and products like this don't really make you exciting because it's not going to like transform your face or anything of course they are just powders and they are expensive powders so if you're not really one that gets excited about makeup products like this then I would personally save my money because 95 euros is a lot of money for six powders but if you are willing to try Hourglass and you have been wanting to try their products for a while you want to see if they're worth it I think this is an amazing deal to try them and I also think it is a really nice gift for the holiday season as well Okay, everyone, then this really brings us to the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Let me know in the comment section down below what you think of this palette in general and any hourglass releases overall. I would love to know your thoughts. Have you picked this up? Are you planning on picking it up? Do you think it's a waste of your money? What do you think of the shades? I would love to know all you have to say about this. If you did enjoy this video, I would absolutely love it if you gave the thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell if you don't want to miss any of my videos. All of these things would help me so much with my channel and I'd really appreciate it. But with that said, I want to thank you guys all so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing day and I really hope to see you in my next video. Bye!